So a few teachers have asked me about spying software so we can spy on the kids what they're doing in class. Well, it's not actually spying software. It's called Lightspeed. So it's if you're assigned into Chrome, first off, you have to be assigned into Chrome and so do the students. You have to be assigned into Chrome and so do the students. When you're assigned into Chrome, you'll see this Chrome extension up here called Lightspeed Broadcast. Don't sign in here. We're going to sign down here into Classroom Orchestrator. So click Classroom Orchestrator, search for Lamar High School, and type in your regular password. Once you've typed your password, you hit log in and your screen will look similar to this. It's showing you all of your classes. Why do I have two period twos? Because one was for fall and one's for spring for ComTech. If you hover over it, you can start seeing the letters like that one last end with F, so that means it's my fall class. Um, it's not class time right now, so I'm going to go to my web design class and hopefully someone's going to be active. If it's really class time and these are your period students that you currently have and you're seeing students not active, something's wrong but I'm going to scroll down. This is a student like Lexi is in another class working on a laptop or a Chromebook in another class. Same thing with uh, Treksha here. So if this was regular class time, I would hit the blue start button and it's going to take a moment or two and go pull in the pictures and icons of what's going on on those students' screens at the moment. So it takes a moment or two to get the students' images to load on your screen and you can see this student's working on a Google Doc. This student's doing some research for about a country, and I'm not sure why these are not loading yet, but it just lets you see what they're doing. I can click the zoom button to zoom in and see what's actually going on on Caesar's screen, and I can see what website he's currently on, which is right down here. So when you're done with the session, just press stop, and it'll stop recording what they're doing. And I'm not recording right now, but another feature is I can go to Lexi. I can see the recorded sessions that she's had so far. I can also see the URL history of where she's been today and any other day. So today she's been on 156 URLs. That's a lot of URLs in one day. So this was actually from my class. But again, 156 websites that she's been on, URLs in one day. That might cause suspicion and make you want to look around and see what they're doing a little more. As far as the other features, there are additional features, but I really haven't played with them yet. Um, it's one of those things where you're just going to have to get in there and start using it once you have students in class. Hope this helps. Let me know if you need more assistance.